Hey, this is Steve Sterlachi, and this is Two Minute Tips for the Line 6 Heroes. Hey guys, welcome back to another Two Minute Tip. Today we are going to talk about how to get a graphic EQ situation in your Line 6 Helix. So um, whenever you're in a studio or if you have like, you know, nice plugins in your DAW, um, you'll know that using a graphic EQ is the easiest way to notch and boost and cut frequencies and find, you know, the frequencies that you want there and that you don't want there. So there's a little trick that I found in the Helix that you can do to uh, get this type of thing uh, for your presets. So go over to HX Edit and I'll show you guys what I have. So I have this parametric EQ in the chain here, and this is going to come into play when we go to our global EQ. If I go to the global EQ, these are all similar parameters to your parametric EQ that are in the signal chain. So if you look low frequency, low Q, low gain versus low peak frequency Q and gain. But uh, similar terminology, it's just uh, this you can, yeah, you go by tens here and then you also go by tens here. So yeah, they're pretty much the exact same thing. But um, you can't get a graphic EQ in the Helix, but if you do this trick, you can. So I'm gonna loop a riff, and I'm gonna put my headphones on. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna sweep around using the graphic EQ to find some unwanted frequencies and how I'm just gonna duck them out and what it's gonna do to the sound. I would recommend that you put on some studio headphones for this or some type of really good uh, listening device if you have a uh, if you have studio monitors, great. If not, uh, headphones will be great. So I've got my riff looping, and I'm going to show you guys what we have here. So I'm not going to do any talking. I'm just going to start doing. So 100 sounds boomy to me, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna just drop my low cut there since it's able to do there. So now we're gonna make sure you sharpen your cue. Found a bad one. So you hear how that's super honky. So I have my cue already. Instead of plus D 12 dB, I'm going to drop this down. Let's go extreme so you guys can hear the difference. Let's say 10 dB. So you hear how having the EQ engage is going to clean up the signal and make things a little bit more clear. And then from here, you're just going to take these settings that you got from the graphic and you're going to copy it over to your parametric EQ in your signal chain. So that's it for this tip and I hope you guys are able to use this graphic mentality in uh, making your patches.